Any idea why I might have stopped you today? Yes. No. Did you notice, did you see that big, giant pickup truck towing a car past you on the right? Do you know why he passed you on the right? It's because you were camped in the left lane for like the last 20 miles. So within the Pinal County Sheriff's Office, left lane camping's a big deal. It got us one of these. So Sam made the video, Sheriff Lamb was in it. They submitted it two years ago. Last year, they won an Emmy for the campaign against left lane camping. It's a big deal for the sheriff's office, and on this particular day, it was a big deal for me. The left lane is for passing, and you yep. were not passing anyone. You were being passed. So, slow vehicles, and if you're being passed, you're the slow vehicle. My license is suspended. Why is your license suspended? Of course it is. So you have a good license. You know he's suspended. Unbelievable. That's why you don't know that you can't be in the left lane. It's because you're a terrible driver and your license is suspended. Obviously you shouldn't be driving, so you're gonna get a ticket for that. And you pulled you shouldn't the be, You shouldn't have trucks pulling other trucks past you on the right, so you get a ticket for that. And hang tight for One of the things that people complain about is, well, why aren't you catching the cars that are passing them? Well, if the speed limit's 75 and you're doing 73 and a car passes you at 77, they're not speeding. The main focus of it was that we were looking for vehicles that were forcing other cars to pass them simply by being inconsiderate and selfish and uh, driving the left lane. So the sheriff spends a lot of time out here on I-10. Uh, he's pulling people over, people like this guy camping in the left lane, and all he does is give warnings. I'm just doing warnings, just a verbal warning. I'm not gonna give you a ticket. He's just nice and like, he, you know, talks to people and he's all happy. I write tickets. Driving while your license is suspended, canceled, or revoked. You need a ticket for that. And failure to drive on the right side of the road for a slow speed because obviously you're being passed by trucks with trailers. All I need from you is a signature there that just says you promised to appear and that I don't need to take you to jail today. The other thing I need you guys to do, I need you guys to switch. You know how fast you were going? Where your top speed was? 111. Sam decided he wanted to make a left lane camping video. So we went out to I-10 specifically looking for left lane campers. And we were traveling between like the Gila River Indian Reservation to the north and like the county line to the south, just north of Marana um, on I-10. And it was difficult. We drove a lot of miles watching vehicles on the road, camping in the left lane to see if they were gonna move, to see if they were driving at a slow enough speed to make cars pass them. Um, it wasn't as easy as you think. I don't know how the sheriff, he's a, he's a magnet for this stuff and he used to see it all the time. Um, but we spent a good couple hours there just trying to get these three stops. Um, and one of them was even a left lane stop. The guy blew my doors off at 112. Um, so I had to address that with that criminal citation for excessive speed. Um, they got another criminal citation for driving on suspended. So um, we ended up with citations for other stuff besides left lane camping. While you're weaving oh, through traffic, it's not the slowest passing cars car on, on both the, the left and the right. Just need you to sign right there. It says that you promised to appear and I don't need to book you into the Pinal County Adult Detention Facility. Any idea why I might have stopped you? Uh, no, actually not. Your speed was actually slow. Um, so I feel like you should have like a backpack in a tent, because you were just, back. you spent the last, I don't even know how many miles just camping in the left lane. Besides the video that we did where I stopped the guy for going over 70 miles an hour in a 45 and he demanded I tell him why um, we stopped him before he identified himself. Besides that one, this video, we get the most feedback from, from internet trolls. Um, and I don't know why, because camping in the left lane is against Arizona state law. It is very explicitly explained in the law that you can't be the slow moving vehicle in the left lane. Um, it's pretty black and white, but for whatever reason, we get a lot of feedback from it. Do you see all those cars passing you on the right? There he goes if in you're the lane. forcing cars to pass you on the right, you're going too slow in the left lane. The left lane is not meant for just cruising. The left lane, per Arizona state law, is meant for passing. In Sheriff Lamb's truck, you hear a lot about God, family, and freedom. You know what you don't hear in Sheriff Lamb's truck is this sound. Stay to drive on the right yeah. side of the road at a slow speed. When cars are passing you on the right, you are forcing them to make a dangerous move. Your copy of the citations in here. Uh, Central Pinal Justice Court is located up in Coolidge. You don't have to appear. 
This is okay. simply a civil citation. Kind of a reminder, like, hey man, you're gonna be driving slow and forcing cars to pass you, move over. So, strange, yeah man, I love pictures. Man, see, this is something that, that Sheriff Lamb, he doesn't get pictures on the side of the road of people after he writes some citations. So this is, this is cool. Because he doesn't write them citations. Hold on, let me, let me, let me give you some of this. Obviously, there's an Emmy next to me. It means I know what I'm talking about. What I need you to do, I need you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And if it's a negative comment, you're probably part of the problem. Today, we're gonna do the MCG challenge. MCG yeah. is the Maricopa Casa Grande Highway. It's a roadway between Casa Grande and Maricopa. The internet loves challenges. So Sam was like, hey, we should do the MCG challenge. I thought to myself, self? It's better than the Tide Pod Challenge. So we did it. Uh, it was one day after lunch. Uh, Sam's like, hey, let's see how long it takes us to write three tickets over 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. I was like, all right, let's do it. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of attention and people fly down it. Posted speed limit's 50 miles an hour. So we're gonna see how long it takes us to write three tickets for 20 miles an hour or more above the speed limit. So right now it is 147. After and, lunch. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do here today. It took us one minute to get the first car at 25 over. How you doing there? See your driver's license, please. That didn't take long. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is your speed was 75 miles an hour. The posted speed limit on this portion is 50. 75 and a 50, just a regular speeding ticket. Look. Please slow down. Thank you for wearing your seatbelt, drive safe. The time right now was 155. That didn't take uh, long. But I stopped that car at 148, so it took me one minute. The very first car that went by us was 25 yes. over. We're chasing a car, just made a U-turn on it. It is 159 right now. That took me And uh, we got this guy at 71. Hi there, see your driver's license, please. Oh, look at your little cow print steering hey, wheel. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Hey. Any idea why I might have stopped you today? I was going a little fast. You were going a little fast. <laughs> so, I, so I locked you in a radar at 71 miles an hour. Okay. And the posted speed limit here is 50. So you're, oh, you're, okay. at a, you're at a good... Yeah, you're at a good, know it's going that fast. You're sorry. trucking. If you are above 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, it's criminal. considered a criminal traffic offense. Okay. I didn't write you a criminal ticket. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I talk a lot about the amount of discretion that I have for the Sheriff's Office. Um, it, Traffic enforcement on an MCG is a great example of it. 50 miles an hour, the roads, it's pretty straight, but it's not dead straight. And there's some, some curves and swooping turns. Um, so we see speeders all the time out there, but I'm not stopping cars for 55 and a 50 on this road. Like I understand that it's, it's a go between two places. There's not a whole lot of places to go in between. So on this road, the overwhelming majority of time that I'm stopping cars, it's for 20 over. Um, because I use that discretion, you know, I could I pull them over for 12 over or 13 over? Absolutely, I could and be well within the requirements of the law. But I use that discretion and I kind of put my threshold up a little bit on this particular road because um, there aren't a whole lot of intersections. There's no traffic lights um, and it just makes sense. So I like using that discretion on very specific roads like this um, to give the motoring public a speed that they could get from point A to point B but also to not go too fast where you're posing a, a hazard. But just so you know, for your own information, yeah. you are in that threshold because you're more than 20 over. Mm -hmm. But I save that for people that are like really over. Yeah. So you being one mile an hour over, we, we kept it in the civil range. Thank you. you can go to driving school if you're eligible. Okay. You can pay the fine or you can appear in court and go, hey, it wasn't me. Yeah. And those are your three options. Yeah. Whichever one's the best one for you, that's the one that you go with. Okay. Okay. You, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for being kind and wearing your seatbelt. Drive safe today. Time right now. 14, 14, Boom. and we're closing the distance on another 75. This is gonna be our third. Gotcha. In less than an hour, it's like third in less than half an hour. We were just talking about Emmys. Sam already has one with the sheriff, so Sam submitted this one to try to get one with me. Hey, may I see your driver's license, please? All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Yeah. Any idea why I might have stopped you? Because I was speeding. You were speeding. I was, I went around, so I'm late to work. I see that. No. Poor time, Poor time management. management. I'm gonna take responsibility, so I'll get you my insurance. I appreciate that. Because um, you know that you know that you're doing a criminal amount of speed, right? What? Because well, you're. I, I, I locked. Fifty-five. No, it is fifty. Okay. And I locked you in at seventy-five. What? Right on the button, seventy-five. And like I said, your speed is in the criminal realm. Right. I did not write you a criminal ticket. Okay, we kept oh. it. We kept it civil. Okay. So it keep, makes it a little bit easier for you to take care of. 
I know that it kind of sounds like a joke uh, to have a challenge out here on Maricopa Casa Grande Highway, but this is to bring to light the fact that this is a 50 mile an hour zone and that a lot of speeding occurs here. Um, I've responded to both fatal and serious injury collisions out here and it's a problem. So I'm out here, I'm out here all the time as much as I can get out here enforcing the laws. What I want people to do is drive safe, but obey the laws out here also.